okay so add a, add a, a little bit of data data when we refresh here you can see now it's adding these records to our database and so you notice the ID automatically populates and now it looks a lot like our spreadsheet if we were to come in here and type in this information it looks a lot like what we have over here the only difference really being this a column which and here we can't name but here we can so um, that's how you create a form that stores information into uh, a database and you know it's as simple as you got to connect to the host you select the database once you have that done you can grab your values from your form using you know whatever method you use and then you just create a simple insert statement that inserts that information in there and of course you do your error checks all along the way and then you of course end it by closing the connection so that ends this connection up there now you don't have to do that because when a script in PHP ends it automatically closes the connection but that's a lot of times it's good to just explicitly close it so you can see here in about 30 lines of code we were able to connect to a database we were able to uh, get information from a form and we were able to store it in that database so now let's say we come to our form over here and we want to add some more fields so I'm going to come here we'll copy this and we're going to make an input two and input two we save that and we come back over to our page here if we submit this form again we're taken to this page and we come back over here you notice that we got the first value but we didn't get the second one the reason is is we didn't adjust our script in our database to account for it okay so what we have to do in order to have this value inserted is the first thing is we need to come to our database and we need to add a field to be able to store that second put input into okay so add one field at end of table and we can do it after input one and we hit go and we're gonna call this input two I'm gonna do variable character we're gonna do 255 um, and that and it can be null and that should be good so we save that and now we have our input two okay but we still gotta write our PHP code Okay, so we come back over here, and just like we did this for input one, we need to do it for input two. So we would write like value two, input two, and then here we would need to do something like this. And it's important that when the values, you put these single quotations here. If you don't put those there, it won't work. Okay, so and, and then not put them on the on the key. If you put it on the key, it won't work. So the syntax here is very specific. Okay, so when you're writing the syntax, you need to to uh, make sure you're very specific about that. Okay, so uh, we go ahead and save this, and we come back over here to our form, refresh, submit and we get an error okay so what's the error well we forgot to put in input to here as well okay so you, those are all things you gotta you gotta do it for everything all right so come back and we hit submit now we should be good and we go to demo and now you can see that we have yep and nope and since we didn't have uh, this value or this field before any record that was submitted for will just have a null so that's basically like it being empty okay um, and then any submission from now on will have either 
a value in it if they put a value in it or it will just be blank okay so for example if we were to come over here and we were go gonna go and leave this one blank and we hit submit and we come down here now you see that it's just blank okay so that's how a very simple way to create a form that can store information in a uh, MySQL database using PHP and the thing about it is, is you always have to account for what you're going to put in your form you have to build your database to accommodate it and then you have to write your code to accommodate it as well okay so um, that actually is uh, a very simple way to build forms so if you know what form you want to build you can go in to your database and build out the the database the tables the fields that you want to store the information into just like you're building a spreadsheet in Excel almost um, get that all set up then you can go build your form that will uh, you know that will get all that information and then you just from there you write the script that connects it all together which is this right here okay and so every time you build a form then you would just go and do that now as you might imagine doing that over and over and over again um, can be a little tedious now you can do that um, and it, it and it really is a big time saver compared to other ways of gathering information and so on but um, you can do it that way but there's also a couple different ways that you can write some code where you don't have to do that every time and so in the next um, video we're going to go into a, an advanced form now there's like I said there's there's really two ways that you could write this one you could turn this code into a class you could set up class variables for like the field names and different things like that so all you have to all you would have to do is really change the field names and it, the 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 class would process the form um, accordingly based off the fields that you created and all that and that's actually a really good way of doing it and probably a lot of people out there would recommend that um, but for me <laughs> uh, that's just not as fun so <laughs> in the next video I'm going to show you another way um, the way I came up with for creating forms that allows you to pretty much write code once and then all you have to do from that point forward is just write your HTML forms and the code can adjust to it on the fly um, so in the next video I'm going to show you how to do that we're going to talk a little bit more about security in that as well um, and show you some more advanced PHP so uh, that's in the next video advanced form construction so hope you enjoyed this one and I'll talk to you in the next video